right? There's never been a more outwardly phony presidency than Joe Biden's. The administration that's paralyzing this country with nonstop race baiting and divisive rhetoric is led by a president who spoke at a KKK funeral and once said he doesn't want his kids growing up in a racial jungle. And now this same administration is making a blatantly is blatantly pandering to young people in debt because its leader spent his entire political career making their lives worse by protecting big banks. Blue collar Scranton Joe was one of the most pitiful makeovers in the history of politics. Joe Biden is really a shameless Delaware political elite. Decades in bed with the major banks and financial institutions who headquarter in Biden's tiny state for tax purposes. From The Intercept, Biden played a role in making it easier for students and parents to take out burdensome loans spanning across several decades. Later, his landmark bankruptcy reform legislation made it nearly impossible to discharge student loans, birthing a predatory industry and sinking millions into unsustainable levels of debt. No big deal. Biden helped create all of this debt and then helped make it easier for banks to harass borrowers, kids that have a college degree in a predatory manner. No, nothing much. In 1978, Biden supported the Middle Income Student Assistance Act, which eliminated income restrictions on federal loans to expand eligibility to all students. Biden helped write a separate bill that year blocking students from seeking bankruptcy protections on those loans after graduation. Don't act surprised. This is textbook Biden politics. The man has spent 40 years gutting the American middle class and helping his son get rich so he can afford hotels in L.A. full of hookers and blow. That's the real Joe Biden, not the senile Trojan horse dragged across the finish line in 2020 by Obama's deep state architects, and certainly not the Biden that we saw today. My predecessors looked the other way, for some reason, with good reason, uh, to do anything about this fraud. My administration is taking it on. Is the fakest man in politics right now, and that is saying a lot. So before we continue eviscerating this idiotic plan from this pathetically desperate administration, let's break it down for a second. $10,000 in forgiveness for anyone making under $125,000 a year. You get $20,000 knocked off if you have a Pell Grant for uh, lower income people. And also extending the payment freeze on student loans, of course, of course, until right after the midterm elections. A blatantly political act. And if you were surprised when Biden announced that he was spending $300 billion more of your dollars to cancel other people's debt, maybe you should be. Because it wasn't that long ago that Democrats told us that this can't happen, that frankly, it's illegal. Here's Nancy Pelosi not that long ago. People think that the president of the United States has the power for debt forgiveness. He does not. He can postpone, he can delay, but he does not have that power. That would that has to be an act of Congress. Oh. Hmm. Liz Warren was on CNN today. Check out the picture. Uh, she was asked about criticism from Republicans like Mitch McConnell, who point out the anger from responsible Americans who paid off their own student loan debt and now have to pay for someone else's. Warren had her fake TV smile up. So, you know, you're about to get a spectacular line of BS. Enjoy. Look, I'm not at all surprised that Mitch McConnell is attacking this. And the reason he's attacking it is because it is very, very popular. Popular among Democrats, independents, Republicans, popular. It's incredibly popular, Liz Warren says. In fact, it's so popular that it has to be forcibly implemented on you illegally via executive order at a time when Democrats control both houses of Congress. That's how frickin' popular this thing is. Not even every Democrat will support it. Liz Warren is one of the most soulless liars Democrats have. That's her superpower, the kind of person who can pretend to be Native American to get ahead in life. She'll say just about anything. She couldn't care less. So why is this bill in actuality so unpopular? Well, first off, because it is ridiculous. The Education Data Initiative says that Americans with above average income owe an estimated 65% of America's student loan debt. Think about that. The vast majority of this is going to go to people that are doing pretty well. Doctors, lawyers, finance people with MBAs making six figures. Here's a free $10,000 from your government. Go get yourself a nice new Rolex. 
Warren and company know this thing had no chance in Congress. It would have never stood up to the kind of scrutiny that we are delivering right now. Even Manchin and Cinema were certain to be no's on this thing. And there would have been defectors in the House as well. $300 billion in new spending, more spending for a country riddled with debt and fighting rampant inflation. These people cannot stop spending your money. They've spent $30 trillion we don't have, and they just want to keep going. It was just last month when Democrats bragged about their Inflation Reduction Act, which in reality was just a climate change bill. It was a gift to rich liberal donors in the green energy business. They sold it as inflation reduction because it raised $700 billion in new taxes over 10 years, but only gave away $400 billion of that to Biden's rich donors, meaning that there was $300 billion left over in deficit reduction. Even though in reality, in reality, they're still spending more than they bring in. But that's deficit reduction in their minds. Well, it only took a few weeks and they've already wasted that $300 billion on this plan. Think about that. They've already wasted it. The 700 to 400 is now gone with this new act. It is amazing to watch how these people spend money.